What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Bergs, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free channel collective reading for Santa Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamish of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Way too many. Maybe one of you guys has addictions or you're dealing with somebody with addictions or you're emotional about person, people, place, or situation or somebody's emotional over you, Virgo. Because the cards flew out in excess. Free general collective readings so only take the messages that resonate leave the rest, okay? All right, so I feel guided to do your reading, Virgo. Oh, we do have three. Okay, we got three. Um, I feel guided to do your reading. Um, so we're going to do it and I got a channel message for your uh, sign. So we're going to tap into it. Okay. This is for any aspects of Virgo. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. All right. So the channel message I received was, um, uh, a Virgo feminine, um, uh, popular online YouTuber. I heard she's about to find out she's pregnant and I heard it's not by Scorpio specifically so um you plug it in how it resonates um i'm not sure who y'all are ma'am i think you watch my channel or somebody um you maybe somebody connected to you watches my channel but um that's very specific uh whoever you are you're a virgo fem popular youtuber so you have a youtube channel or channels and it's popular so whatever that is and how that resonates but I heard you're about to find out you're pregnant, but it's not by Scorpio. So I think you might think it's by Scorpio, but it's not. Um, however, that resonates and applies, okay? All right. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover, may... Birth control is significant in this. And you're going to be shocked at who it is. Who the baby father is. Oh my God. I heard birth control is... Okay, I'm pulling you in strong, Virgo fam, popular online um, YouTuber, ma'am. Heard you're going to be shocked at who it is. And apparently it's not a Scorpio. So it's not a Scorpio masculine, I'm presuming, with the penis. Uh, it's not a Scorpio masculine, and um, you're going to be shocked at who it is. And somehow birth, birth control is significant in this, so I think you might thought you couldn't have got pregnant, or maybe you're uh, just started taking birth control, or or you don't take birth control, or how that resonates. But somehow birth control is significant in this. I think you thought you couldn't get pregnant. Is what I think. Exactly what I think. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo, Fem. You're a popular online YouTuber. And eventually your following is going to find out you're pregnant. And it's going to cause shifts there. Okay, and eventually your following is going to find out you're pregnant. It's going to cause shifts there. So, uh, I mean, we're, we're right now where Roe versus White, uh, the Roe versus Wade is overturned to my knowledge. So, to my knowledge, everybody has to keep the child unless you live in an area where you can have an abortion. But to my knowledge, in the United States of America, nobody can get an abortion. But, you know, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. But, um, oh, look what popped out. Rabbit. Sexual energy, baby. Doing it like rabbits. Um, just saying, just saying. And I heard specifically it's not a Scorpio's. I think you might think it is the Scorpio's, Virgo, Fem, or you want it to be. But I heard it's not, and you're about to be shocked at who it, the father really is. Um, and whoever you are, eventually, I mean, if you live in an area where you can't have an abortion, if you believe in that or don't believe in it, 
um, eventually, it sounds like you're um, following on YouTube. They're going to find out you're pregnant. So um, it's all in the cards and the um, energy and the messages in here. And that's just the truth, ma'am. Holy crap. All right. That's why I don't have sex. <laughs> and the Scorpio that you think is 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 the uh, is the father is going to watch this reading. Oh my God Almighty! Okay, and I heard the Scorpio that you think is the father. You do think you okay when you find out you're pregnant, ma'am. You're going to think it's a Scorpio, masculines. But I heard he's going to watch this reading. So he watches my Virgo readings, I guess. Um, oh, my God. But I heard it's not he is. Holy moly. Uh, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Earth sign or uh, Earth sign or Fire sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or... Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Huh? Growth. Growth of the child in the womb. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44. To me, Virgo, fam, I think this is growth of this child in your womb, ma'am. For the rest of you guys, that could be growth in something else. You plug it in how it resonates. Ugh. This pregnancy is about to be life-changing. This pregnancy is about to be life-changing. Well, children are life-changing. Um, you either grow up and buck it up and be a good parent, or you don't. Um, whoever you are. Um, I heard the pregnancy is about to be life-changing for you, ma'am. Trust me, I have two kids, I know. And I'm just speaking from experience. Buffalo. A fire sign's predictions has left a Virgo shook, and they will continue to leave a Virgo shook. A fire sign's predictions, um, fire sign feminine, fire sign fem. A fire sign fem's predictions have left a Virgo shook, and they will continue to leave a Virgo shook. So, a fire sign fem, um, I think she's psychic. Um, she's predicting, like a no female Nostradamus energy. Um, Whoever she is. Uh, she have Aries, Leo, Sag, and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haven, Jupiter, Charts. But how that resonates, Virgo, this fire sign femme, whoever she is to you, her predictions have already left you shook. For some, for some, they're they're about to. For some, it could be both. But um, this is your fire sign femme, psychic, uh, female Nostradamus energy type um, predictions leaving you shook. Um, how that resonates and applies. And I think they're leaving you shook because they're coming true or they have come true. Uh, you plug in how it resonates. Oh my gosh. And a very angry fire sign mother is about to file uh, an official complaint on a Virgo feminine assistant principal. Very significant complaint. Very detailed complaint. This Virgo Femme prin assistant principal works in a middle school in a city. It's about to get to the right people. This Virgo Femme prin assistant principal needs to hear this. Oh my God. Okay, so Virgo Feminine assistant principal, if this resonates for you, you work in a middle school in a city that's very significant. I mean, very specific. You work... Confirmation for my kitty. You work in a middle school in a city. You are a Virgo feminine assistant principal, but there's a very angry fire sign femme parent. Here's your very angry fire sign femme parent. Aries Leo Sage femme parent. I mean, not femme. Aries Leo Sage masculine femme parent. About to um, file a very significant complaint on you. Um, I think it's an official complaint like through the city school system or the, um, well, I heard it's a city, so through a city school system, um, like an official reporting complaint, not going up to the school. Because um, I heard official complaint. I heard it's about to get to the right people. So um, 
It's your angry parent, assistant principal, Virgo Femme. It is not going to go the way you want it to go. You're going to ever regret you got involved with the Gemini masculine in the past. Okay, I heard it's not going to go the way you want it to go. Assistant principal, Virgo Femme principal in a, uh, your assistant principal in a city school district in a city. Um, I heard it's not going to go the way you want it to go. And somehow a Gemini masculine of your past, your connection with him is significant in this. Um, with this very angry complaint of a fire sign parent. Pandora's box has been blown open in a particular city. Someone needs to hear this. Pandora's box has been blown open in a particular city and someone needs to hear this. So whoever, uh, whatever Virgos has for, Pandora's box has been blown open in a particular city. I didn't hear specifically what city. You have to plug it in how it resonates. So uh, one of you Virgos needs to hear that. So I feel that could go in your favor or not in your favor. You know, how which side of the karmic wheel are you on on that? Um, are you on the positive side of karma on that or the negative side of karma? Rabbit, this is that pregnant, um, popular online social media a YouTuber. Uh, pregnant, preggy. Rabbit got the gun. Sexual energy. Woo! A Virgo masculine, bisexual, mainly gay nurse. You're about to find out you have a secret child. Very far distances. And this, the female is about to file child support on you. Oh my lord. You plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. Okay, my god. Okay, so these are so such specific messages. Okay, so whoever this is for, you are a, I heard you're a bisexual masculine nurse. So LPN, RN, CRNP, or whatever you are, but you're a nurse. Um, and, but you're bi mainly bisexual. Um, but I'm sorry, sorry. No, you're bisexual, but mainly gay. You're bisexual, but ma mainly gay. So you mostly like guys. I don't judge. I don't judge. You mainly like guys, but you are bisexual, but... Apparently, you're about to find out you have a secret child. And it is yours. And it is yours. You have a secret child, but it, apparently, I'm assuming this has happened a while ago. You, did, you didn't know you had this child, I'm presuming. Um, but whoever the baby mama is, they live very far distances. But I heard it is your child. They're about to file child support on you. So, um, secret child energy here with the rabbit energy, sexual energy, your little secret child. Um, and they will get a good amount of child support because you make good money. Okay. And I heard they will get a good amount of child support because you make good money. So whoever you are, you're a Virgo masculine nurse. Um, and nurses do, can make very good money. And that's just the truth, depending on where you work and what you do and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but she's about to file child support on you. Heard it is your child. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. She lives far distances from you. Virgo masculine, uh, mostly gay nurse. Okay. I don't, I don't judge. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. A Virgo's mother is about to try to come ask you for money soon. A Virgo's mother is about to try to come ask you for money soon. So for one of you guys, your mom's going to try to come ask you for money soon. So unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I'm assuming your mother needs money, um, whoever you are. Um, you did not have a good childhood. She was terrible to you. 
Okay, whoever you are, you did not have a good childhood. She was terrible to you. So your mother was terrible to you. You did not have a good childhood. And now she needs some money. Um, and she's going to try to have the audacity, basically, to come ask you for some money. Wow, man, that's terrible. And for one, you're an undercover cop and something is not going to go the way you want it to go very soon. And for one, you're an undercover cop and something is about to not go the way you want it to go very soon. So for one, you're an undercover cop and unsuccessful outcome to a problem, something's not going to go the way you want it to go soon. Now, whatever that is, I'm not sure. It could be regarding a friend or a lover possibly or any other situation, but your undercover cop Virgo, if the uh, masculine, masculine, your undercover Virgo cop masculine, but something isn't going to go the way you want it to go. So I don't, you know, I think it might be something to do with your uh, work as an undercover is what I think. I don't know if it's undercover drug deal going wrong or somebody or somebody blows your cover as an undercover or what have you, what have you. But somehow something, I think it's something as your profession as undercover masculine police officer is about to not go the way you want it to go um i think it's when you're on duty as an undercover and for one you're about to get a shocking phone call about a pisces feminine about to move out of a city very soon and very quickly you're about to take some huge action. You do not live in this city. But you intuitively knew this was about to happen and it's about to happen. You're a Virgo masculine. Officer. Officer of the law. Oh, I'm picking up heavy police officer energy in here. Okay, so for one, you're, uh, you could be an undercover or not an undercover. You have to plug in how it resonates. But for one, you're a Virgo masculine police officer. You're about to hear about a Pisces femme very soon and very quickly. I heard about to just up and move quickly out of a city. Um, heard it's not your city. You don't live in that city. You live far distance from where she's about to up and just move. But um, I heard once she does, you're about to hear about it. You're about to hear about it from many people, but from one person you would have never expected to hear from it, hear about it from, but you're about to, and you are about to take some huge action soon. Okay, so Virgo masculine police officer, this resonates for you. You're about to hear about this Pisces been about to just up and move out of the city very quickly. Um, she's doing this for a reason, I'm feeling. Um, she most certainly is. Okay, it's confirmation. She most certainly is. She's about to move out of the city up and just quick for a reason. I wonder if she's got a warrant out for her arrest or some kind of charges or, or she's uh, on the run or something. Because there's a reason she's about to just up and just damn just move quick. Um, but uh, you're on to her. I think you're on to her. You are definitely on to her. Okay, I heard you're definitely on to her. Um, but many people are about to let you know she's about to up and just move. I heard you're highly intuitive. You knew this was about to happen. So I think you've been watching her. Not necessarily watching her, but having other people watch her is what I think. There's a reason uh, many people are about to let you know she's about to up and just move soon and quick for strategic reasons um but one person in this it sounds like a lot of people about to tell you sir is one person you wouldn't have expected to tell you um but however that resonates it, it sounds like a bunch of people about to come to you a bunch of people about to come um but you're about to take some huge action um once she up and just moves so i think she's on the run or about to be on the run is exactly what i think and you're on to her Wow. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. And uh, uh, fire sign feminine, heavy Aries placement. Judge having cancer is very significant in a Virgo's life. 
a fire sign femme, hairy, heavy, heavy Aries placement judge, um, having cancer is very significant in one of you Virgo's life. So whoever you are, Virgo, a fire sign feminine judge. So a judge, um, but she has air, heavy Aries placements. So two or two plus Aries placements, I feel. Her having cancer, it sounds like current energetic space having cancer is significant to you in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel that could be in a positive or negative way, Virgo. You have to plug this um, Aries femme judge in with, um, I mean, fire sign femme judge in with heavy Aries placements in your life while she resonates, okay? Flu, disappointment in a friend or lover. A Virgo feminine is about to get broke up with. She has never been broke up with before. It is about to shock the hell out of her. She's very egotistical. Very egotistical. But it's about to happen. Oh my god. A very egotistical Virgo feminine. Uh, her, she's never been broke up with before. So um, she never. It, it sounds like she dates a lot. Or she has dated a lot. Um in her life, but I heard she's never been broke up with. So I think she's always been the one to break up with uh, the person um, or people. Sounds like a lot of people. She's dated a lot of people. Okay, I heard she's dated a lot of people. She's dated a lot of people, but she has never broke up with, uh, I'm sorry, nobody, no, the person hasn't broke up with her. She's always broke up with them. So, but she's about to get broke up with by somebody. Um, she, I heard it's about to, like, pop the ego. So, she's about to be disappointed in a lover um, when she gets broke up with. Um, first time to be broke up with. Um, if this resonates for you, Virgo Femme, um, you've never been broke up with before. Well, ma'am, I'll tell you. I've, I, I, I've dated. I'm a single woman. I've dated. I've been a single woman for a long, long, long time. A long time. I've been divorced a long time, ma'am. And let me tell you, I've dated a lot. And, um... Let me tell you, I've been broke up with and I have been, uh, and I broke up with. Um, it's healthy to be broke up with, ma'am. If you watch my channel, it's healthy. Because it teaches, it teaches healthy um, coping mechanism skills. And that's just the truth. It'll be all right. It'll be all right, ma'am. It'll be all right. I promise. And a Virgo feminine is about to learn about a hidden camera in her bedroom. She has been warned about this and warned about this and warned about this from people in her own community. Her Leo masculine husband has been filming her getting undressed. She's about to get warned again and get a spiritual download her own self about this. She's about to find the hidden camera. And she's about to make some huge changes. Did not want to believe it in the past. Her Leo masculine husband has been making a lot of money off her own community watching her get undressed. It's about to cause a shit storm. Oh my God almighty. What is up with this hidden camera shit? People need to leave this shit alone. Okay. So you're a Virgo femme and you're, you're legally married to a Leo masculine husband. If this resonates for you, ma'am. You're a legally married Virgo feminine and to a Leo masculine husband. I heard you've been warned by own people in your community in the past that he's been basically filming you with a voyeur camera. Because that's basically what that is, a voyeur camera. Um, except it sounds like, in this case, you live with him. So, the, I mean, the legal situation would be a little different. Like, when some the asshole planted the implanted the hidden camera in my house, I couldn't wait. For somebody to tell me I had shit in my house, I'd go file a damn lawsuit. But nobody still to this day has told me, hey, there's a hidden camera in your house. I had to find out through CPS, through a CPS report. That's how I found out. And that's just the truth. And that's only because I asked. Because you have the legal right to ask what the report's about. And the report was, I was walking around my bra and my panties. Well, how the hell is somebody knowing I'm walking around my bra and my panties if you ain't boring me through a damn camera? Because I sure as hell don't have one in here. Or had one in here, and that's just the truth. But whoever you are, you have been warned by your own community members, ma'am. But I heard you don't want to believe it. But I heard you're about to be warned again, and you're about to get your own spiritual download. All right, and I, I heard after that, 
and the warning of somebody else in your community, you're about to go take some action and find this damn camera. It's in your bedroom. It's in your bedroom. It's in your bedroom. It's in your bedroom, bedroom ma'am. Um, and I heard you guys, shit's about to hit the fan. Well, I hope it does. But I heard you've been warned many times by other people in your community for a while. It sounds like that there is, that he has been doing this. But it's good to know that you're about to take some action here. Hopefully, you take his ass to the court of law and sue his ass for voyeurism and get a nice divorce because that's sick. I heard he's been making a lot of money off you in your own community for a long time. What these people in your own community watching you get undressed in your bedroom. That's sick. Disappointment in a lover. It's your creepy ass um, Leo masculine husband. If that resonates for you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. And that would be the rabbit energy, the sexual energy of the, your creepy ass community watching you get undressed. That's sick. And it's your own legally married husband doing this. You're about to get a huge ass spiral into your, ha your ass when you finally find this camera. You're about to find a huge, uh, get a huge ass spiral under your ass when you find this camera. And you're about to find out some huge secrets on your daughter and your husband. And you're not going to like them. Teenage daughter. Oh, God. Okay, Virgo Femme, legally married to a Leo masculine husband. I heard you're about to find out some huge secrets on, apparently you have a teenage daughter, on your teenage daughter and your husband, and you're not going to like them. So, I hope there's not some incest going on there. I didn't hear there was, but I feel there may be with a disappointment in a friend or a lover. It's some kind of dirty bird secrets between your teenager, uh, teenage daughter and your legally married husband. And we do have the rabbit card, so I hope it's not sexual. I didn't hear it was. But, I mean, he goes um, he goes as far as implanting having your community watch you get undressed. So, I'm just saying that's sick, May. A Leo feminine was supposed to be a sacrifice for a Virgo. Virgo feminine in May of 2022. In a corporate entity situation and a community situation, but it has backfired in both realms and it will continue to backfire. And this Virgo feminine really needs to hear this. You should not sacrifice people. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Lord, I'm getting hot. Okay. So, um, one of you Virgo fans, you knew about this. Okay, I heard you knew about this. Okay, whoever you are, you're a Virgo fan, and you knew that a Leo fan was supposed to be a sacrifice for you. Whoever you are, you, um, you're you in a secret society. You're in a secret society. Okay, I heard you're in a secret society, Virgo fan. You knew a Leo fan was supposed to be... Um, a sacrifice for you either in a corporate entity or in a community or both but I heard it has backfired and it will continue to backfire that you need to hear this you're whoever this is for you're Virgo feminine you're in a secret society and you knew so it was premeditated for this Leo feminine to be a sacrifice to you in a corporate entity and um, in a community setting uh, or or a community setting or both how that resonates and applies but it's backfired in both situations i heard it will continue to backfire ma'am um you know it is backfired you know it is backfired um how that resonates ma'am only you know if you're in a secret society only you know if you knew a virgo um not a virgo uh, leo finn was supposed to be your sacrifice in a corporate entity situation or a community situation or both ma'am okay but Something happened in May of 2022 to you or this, or this Leo Femme. I think this might have been the sacrificial energy of her in a, a corporate entity situation. And if that was the situation, that, that could be saboteur energy in a corporate entity situation. That could be stagnancy of her in a corporate entity situation. Uh, her not being able to grow or flourish. That could be a wrongful termination. That could be a plethora of different things as far as saboteur energy in a um, corporate entity whether it's wrongful termination secret saboteur energy um, or um, stagnancy created where the person cannot flourish and grow I think it happened in May of 2022 for um, 
for some of you guys. Um, if this resonates for you, you're in a secret society, but you know about it. Um, but I heard you know it's backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. Ooh, this is a heavy reading. Yeah. A Virgo is about to find a love letter from May of 2022. They have a Pisces feminine partner. They're about to find this love letter that was that is her, hers from May of 2022. It's about to be from one of your friends you would have never expected. It's about to shock the hell out of you, your Virgo masculine. You are legally married to a Pisces feminine. Holy crap. Okay, this is so juicy, man. Okay, so one of you guys, you're a Virgo masculine and you're legally married to a Pisces femme right now in the current energetic space. Heard you're about to find a secret love letter. Um, sounds like it's dated May of 2022. Um, and I think that's a disappointment in a lover energy here. Um, um, you're about to find the secret love letter. So I'm assuming she hasn't told you about this Virgo masculine, legally married spouse. Um, but if your spouse is a legally married spouse, it's Pisces Femme, and you're about to find out about, um, you're about to find this love letter. And it, I heard this about to be from one of your friends you would have never expected, basically, I guess, for your friend to have feelings for her or her to have feelings for them or to be mutual. So much so there's a love letter involved. The love letter, I think, is dated May of 2022. Um, but we're in December of 2022. So it was written a long time ago. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, seven months ago at least. You plug in how it resonates, but you haven't found it yet. It sounds like you're about to. And a Pisces feminine is about to come to a Virgo complaining, 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 complaining about a Leo feminine. Complaining. It would not be smart to feed into this. It really would not be. You know she has dug herself a huge hole. Okay, I don't know how that has to do with me, but you plug in how it resonates, Virgo. For one, you know a Pisces fem. Heavy Pisces femme energy. She got Pisces in any aspects or charts, but I heard she's about to come to you just basically complaining. Complaining to uh, to you about a Leo femme. Heavy Leo femme energy in here. Heavy Leo energy. Uh, mask on a femme. But um, I heard it wouldn't be smart to basically feed into her complaints because I heard you know she has dug herself a huge hole. So whoever this uh, Pisces femme is and how that resonates in the class. And a significant... Complaint to a corporate compliance hotline regarding fraud in a corporate entity in a hospital is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life in a positive way and, and very bad for a Pisces femme in a negative way. Okay, and a um, significant, um, um, significant report in a corporate compliance hotline regarding fraud, I heard, specifically regarding fraud, is about to become very positive in a Virgo's life and very negative in a Pisces fem life. So I think, I heard it's regarding fraud, so I think you, Virgo, if this resonates for you, masculine fem Virgo, I think you're about to call the corporate compliance hotline or contact the corporate compliance hotline. I heard it's in a hospital in a corporate entity. So I think you work in a hospital. She works in a, I think you both work in a hospital in a corporate entity. And I think you know she is frauded, person, people, place, or situation. And you are about to make the corporate compliance hotline report on fraud, which corporate compliance hotline reporting is on fraud. 
uh, one of the things is on fraud. So I think you're about to step up, and you know she has fraud in person, people, place, situation. You're about to step up and report her ass for fraud, Virgo. One of you is about to do so, and you're about to get a huge high honor. Okay, I heard one of you is about to do so, and you're about to get a huge, huge high honor. Wow, Virgo. So yeah, you know a Pisces. There's a Pisces fin fraud out there, and you're about to step up and report her ass for fraud in a corporate compliance hotline. And you're about to get high honor for it. Kudos to you. You can be masculine or fin Virgo. Growth. A Virgo is about to find out about a Pisces teenager pregnant and a Virgo feminine is about to, she pregnant, about to find out twins. About to find out she's pregnant and with twins. Shocking. Oh my God, heavy pregnancy in here. Holy moly, and heavy Pisces energy. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. So for one of you guys, you're about to find out a Pisces femme, her teenager, so not the Pisces feminine, but her teenager, femme teenager, is pregnant for one of you. So however you're connected to a, uh, uh, it sounds like an adult Pisces femme. I heard her teenager is about to find out she's pregnant. So it's not the Pisces femme uh, pregnant, it's the teenager pregnant with a baby bump, um, for one. So you're about to learn about this. And for one... You're pregnant, and you're about to find out you're pregnant with twins. So whether you already know you're pregnant or you're about to find out you're pregnant, you're about to find out not only you're pregnant, but with twins. Growth of twins. Holy moly. So for one, you're Virgo femme. You're about to find out you're not only pregnant, but pregnant with twins. Or you already know you're pregnant, you're about to find out you're pregnant with twins. How that resonates and applies. And for one, you know an adult adult by Pisces femme, and you're about to find out their teenager Femme teenage daughter is pregnant. Baby bump. Whoa. And a significant pregnancy of a younger Libra feminine is very significant as well. And a significant pregnancy of a younger Libra feminine is very significant as well. So, and for one of you guys, there's a younger Libra femme. So, 18 to 25, I'm presuming. Um, or 18 to 35. How that resonates and applies. Younger Libra femme, um, she's pregnant too. So a lot of pregnancy in here. Holy crap. So growth of the womb with the rabbit energy. I mean, heavy sex, heavy um, getting it on, heavy pregnancy. Holy moly. And for one, you're about to get a promotion. Police officer. Mid-United States. And one, you're a police officer. You're about to get a promotion. So growth is the promotion. Um, you, I heard mid-United mid States. So I think you reside in the mid-United States, um, whoever you are. You're masculine. You're masculine. You're masculine police officer. You're about to get a promotion, sir. Congratulations on your promotion. Growth in this aspect is promotion. Um, I heard mid-United mid States, so I think you reside in the mid-United States. That's exactly what I think. Uh, growth is the promotion. Congratulations, sir. I love it. And for one, you're about to step up when nobody else has. And give a Leo Femme huge information. You know nobody has given this person information and you're right. And for one of you guys, you're about to step up and give a Leo Femme huge information. Um, step up, I heard, when nobody else has. Um, and I heard you're right, nobody else has stepped up and give her, given her this huge information. 
Um, but you're about to step up soon. You mean mass scorpion Virgo have Virgo in any aspects to your charts. Only you know who you are, not anybody else, but and whoever this Leo Fem is. But for one, you know, a Leo feminine has not got huge information yet. Um, and I heard you're right, she hasn't. But you're about to step up. You're about to be the change maker. And you're about to step up and it sounds like give her this information. It's life changing information. Okay, hers life changing information. So growth, life changing information. Well, that we got some good and we got some bad in here. So you have to just plug it in how it resonates. Okay. And a Virgo is about to help bring down a sex trafficking ring in a city soon. And for one Virgo, you are a social worker, a dirty social worker in the child protective, child protective services. And you're about to get brought down in this chi child sex trafficking ring in a city. It's been going on a very long time. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. So heavy child sex trafficking ring energy and ch using child protective services is basically... A child sex trafficking ring. I heard it's been going on for a long time in the city. Whatever city this is. It could be your city or somebody else's city. One, you're going to help bring it down. One, you know about it or you're about to find out the information on it. You're about to help bring the child sex trafficking ring down in this city. Whether it's your city or somebody else's city. For one, you are a social worker in child protective services in this city and you know about it. You've been hiding it a long time. Okay, I heard you've been hiding it a long time. You've been hiding, you know about the child sex trafficking ring in your city. And you work in child protective services. And you're a social worker. And you know about it. But you're about to get brought down with it. About to get caught in the crosshairs in a way you would have never expected. Okay, you're about to get caught in the crosshairs in a way you would have never expected. You're a Virgo social worker, dirty social worker. And you know about child sex trafficking in your city for a long time. And you've been hiding it. You're about to get caught in the crosshairs in a way you would never expect it. But for one of you Virgos, you either know about this information or you're about to learn about it. And you're not connected to all this dirty shit. And you're about to help bring it down. So however that resonates and applies. I love you guys. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.